Okay, so what should I say? Hello, probably. So cool, we have so nice technology now. Like any idiot, like I am, can record a video. And I'm afraid this technology will make us really dumb later. So probably I make a video for myself, but not. Alex, this video is for you, so probably you'll have fun. Same like we always have some philosophical conversation with very deep meaning. Well, just want to share some of my experience. I meditate quite a lot and think about life and purpose of life. So what do you live in for? Tell me. What is your purpose of life? To what you want to spend all your time for all your life, maybe? Do you have any really good goal for what you're ready to die and give your life something or someone? Whatever. So, in a meditation and different state of mind, um, you get to state of different realization and can understand, even not understand, you just see the things and realize and understand them on different level. So, for what I'm living for, for what you living for, what you want to do in this world. So, we're living in really injustice, unfair world, unfortunately. When we walk in the street and see many homeless people, different kind of protests, not many people smiling or laughing, everyone stressed, depressed, and feel very unhappy, and probably you can see it in different countries and cities. Well, so, my aim I just want to change the world for something better. You can make a really small goal, like I make someone happier or make change someone's life. Maybe make your village a little bit better or city. But if you want to make a big goal, it will be difficult to reach, but probably you succeed much more. For example, if I want to change all the world to the better, it's a big one. Or maybe you want to change all of the universe to the better than to change this small planet for a little bit better way. It will be a really easy task for you. So always need to put a big goal for not even one year, for many years, for all of your life and decide for what you want to spend life for. Hey, if you will ask how it's possible to change, uh, easy, everything in your mind, everything just up here. So. We start from ourselves. You start from yourself, you manage everything, get happier, and people around will ask why you're so happy, why everything's so good with you, so I want to be the same, and so on. So, secret is very simple. We need to just change our mind and be more mindful. I think majority problem, what I can see, watch television and believe to every shit what show is there. So, just to use our logic. Probably many people forgot how to use our logic already because we read a newspaper, we believe to everyone. We believe to the priest or monk, to everything what they say. They never even open a holy book, Quran or Bible, whatever. We believe to everything. So we don't use our logic. So it's very really easy to cheat us. So everyone can trick you like, trick you very easily. And, you know, it's a very perfect example, like all of this prediction of Nostradamus, Wanga, Wolfsmessing, and others. So, how many end of the world I met already? Uh, 1997, 1990, mm. 2000, computer collapse and everything. And now, 2012, what uh, we're waiting for the end of the world uh, from prediction of Maya because Maya calendar is end. But you know, we're all connected now, so we can be a little bit smarter. We already uh, can use our brain. 
Uh, and you know, for example, in Southeast Asia, they never heard about uh, end of the world by Nostradamus or Wanga. They have no idea about Mayan calendar. So now, like it should be end, should, supposed to be end of the world in uh, 2012, there people have no idea about, you know, but like in uh, Europe or post USSR country, like people get crazy, they buy everything, buy candles and so on. And you know what I said? This end of the world, it's a really good brand. It will be more and more later on. So it will never stop. So when I see something on a telly and they say it will be no fertility, so it will be no rice or no wheat, no oat, it's mean on a warehouse, it's a lot of oat would need to sell. It's expired it already. So they make this difference collapse. Um, end of the world, whatever. And the sect, how many people, they kill themselves, they go underground, poison themselves, and so on. The world get mad. So what can I say? Credit crunch, everything for just to make a sale. It's really a good trick, I would say. But if we don't use our brains, it's our problem. So our critical mind, on a really, really low level, unfortunately, it will belong to majority of people, and we need to do something with that. So how to change the world to the better? So spread information and get a little bit smarter. You don't need to be like too smart. It's just to use your logic. If you logically try to analyze information, you know something is wrong here. So if it seems like a bullshit, so probably it's supposed to be the bullshit. Because if it's a look like, a taste like, smell like, so what it is? Yes, and, but we always believe to someone who they lead it. That's why it's very easy to control people, controlled by education, religion, your social class. Oh, you cannot be like that. You cannot be like this and so on. So it's really easy to make you the slave. And for sure, in the future, it will be way, way worse. And you know what? We come to the government, pay our taxes to them, and ask them, please limit our ability, please limit our freedom. We pay for it, we vote for it, because we are disabled, we cannot do anything. That's why we just give all of the authority to you, just for make us slaves, and make luck for us of everything. Like, limit us as much as we can, and it's uh, happen in every country like that, and everywhere the same. So, what we can do with that? So, you know the effect of 100 monkeys, what called 100 monkeys, when uh, like 100 monkeys, they get some kind of information as a monkey or as a creatures. They know it automatically as well. So, it means when some percent of people uh, get on a certain level of consciousness, or let's say, became more wise. So majority of people became like that. You know? So if a uh, certain percent of people became more happy, this means everyone, like a chain reaction, became more happy. It's a really good goal. And this percent, it's like really small. It's like four or five percent. This means if majority of people around not happy, it means less than five percent in the world feel really happy, feel really joy. Like I stay in temple, and I talk to this really wise man, and level of this inside stability just impressed me. And uh, inner state, how they really joy and happy, it's really, I would say, shock me uh, how you can become with So, so you just need change your mind a little bit, just be more suspicious. So probably now in time, philosophical way, determinism, it will be the best turn from surrealism, what we live in now, in a total madness. Even difficult to predict what will be later. So probably CCTV cameras now everywhere. So soon they will put it in your toilet and will watch on you watch you through your devices, now everyone became more and more in a gadget and will be worse and worse for sure. And you know, for surviving alone you cannot do anything. So if let's say we were believed to history of uh, our 
humanity from a caveman, no one can survive alone. So people stay in the community. So theory of people stay in the community is how they survive from the dangerous animals or different catastrophe or other tribes what can kill and hunt each other. Perfect examples like uh, not only in the Southeast Asia, even in nowadays, some tribes in the Brazilia, they really violent and fight to each other. So killing for them, like, pretty normal. So it's one of the theories, so people before stay in that way. So it's mean for not separate, like we now, we egoistic. Everyone just separate, everyone by their own. So join by the group of interest, as more groups is better. So stay like a different community with your neighbors, with your friends, with your relatives, whatever. So as more people, bigger group, stronger you are. And to bigger group, no one can do anything. Like a police suppress, how much is it? 3% of police, maybe army can do anything. So majority of people can do it. But alone you cannot do anything, but you starting from yourself. You change your mind, you realize what's wrong and what's not, discuss with your friend for the right conclusion. In what world do you want to be? Do you want to be happy or not? It's really simple questions. And as deeper you get, it's better. I already not talk about a spiritual growth. If you want to be much more wiser and become like a, some god or Buddha, like absolute. We're really far away from that, but at least we have can have a normal life without war, violence, fraud and cheating. Live joy and happy life. Have a good family. Enjoy our work. Not do some destructive things. And every our action is make an effect, but we covered, we afraid everything. For example, you might be work on factory but making chemicals for food and you know you poison other people. So it's your choice. You're afraid to lose your work because you need to feed your family. You can do something else. Maybe you can do the farming or whatever. You do the medicine and you know it's not help. Or you're the doctor and you sell the medicine because you have a commission. You don't care about people. So everyone make a choice. But if you became smarter for something better to around, it's a very big difference. And you know, it's, for now we have a freedom of choice. So don't make fun of your choice. Maybe soon you will not have any freedom of choice. Same like a public speech for here. You can go in a park only on Sunday and collect some people and tell them what you want. That's it. You know, it's ridiculous. So you cannot put articles in newspapers, no one will put it. You cannot say something about the politics of religion on the television, no one will allow you. So probably in internet very soon, everything what you can say, it will be just uh, deleted or hide it. So in reality, it's no freedom of speech in many countries. So, message is like how you want to live your life what you want to spend your life your time so what you can sacrifice and it's worth it so it is a really good thing what you're doing now it's a big one so you think your life it has sense just think about it on what you spend or just living in total hedonism just enjoy yourself as much as you can just put yourself your ego higher as possible that's it to be like a really special pretty or handsome rich became richer as possible just to cheat other people it's mostly what people intend now and as they said we are smart just try to be some special and told to other people, oh, I have a good house, or I buy a new car and have a fancy clothes, or I had a sex with uh, many women or men, or whatever. And it's maximum to what we reach. 
And more and more I see discussion of people about the art or what books they read or what they think about Platon or Aristotle said or about different philosophical view what might change your life completely because you different on, on look on different things completely differently and think differently and you choose in what way of lifestyle you want to live in and so on. So do you want to be useful in this society? Do you want to do something good for this world? Or do you prefer to be manipulated and be the small, red, not afraid of everything happening around? So basically, I don't know, I just play with my gadget, this quite new. Basically, I never had a camera before, so I say it's fun. I try to make a message to myself, maybe reels, years later, watch it and laughing from myself, or maybe not. So, Alex, you can send me back some really good video of what you think about. Maybe your life goal will be much stronger than mine, who knows. So what we can do, we can change our mind, use our logic. So not believe in anything what they can see around and we can teach others. We can make a really good chain reaction what can change everything easily. So if you know the governor, government, whatever, they lie on you. You don't need to believe. It means you need to agree to the ridiculous law. They make and change every day. They make you agree to everything. Like no personal life anymore should be control everything and I think maybe in one two years later it will be worse and worse because for now I can see like from 1990 to 2000 it doesn't get better and from 2000 now 2012 is get worse so probably later it will be not happen any better and if you mindful enough, you wise, you check what you're doing, it means if someone will give you command, go into the Middle East and kill the civil people and kill the family. It's your choice. Yeah, you pay it off, you have a command, you can do it or not. And we have many examples when people being killed, tortured, imprisoned because they didn't follow the rules. Same, you policeman, you have authority, but you need to think what you are doing. And if you want, everyone will become a little bit more wise, I would say. We will not do the many things, but mostly what people said. I do my job, yeah. I'm a lawyer, so I'm supposed to find this company, even if they could do this stuff for the people. Yeah, I'm a prosecutor, so I should give a big sentence to this guy because he not followed the command. He should kill the civil people. Yeah, I'm a judge, I do my job. I'm a doctor, I studied five years, so I know what medicine to give, and I don't care, it not help. I just do my job. I need the money for feed my family. So it's how it works. Everyone afraid to lose job. Afraid to do the things what he like. Imagine if you do the job what you really love. But you need to find out what it is. And maybe you need to spend many years for that. Who knows? So you want to spend your life on work what you don't like? Just for get some money for get some food and pay for space. But imagine the God give you everything. So it give you the space where you can live and food to grow. Like everything to be happy to have family, but we broke everything by our rule and make it different ridiculous law against the nature. And now we're suffering, but we done it by ourselves. So who we can blame? Only ourselves. So because we agreed to that. So it's really up to you. You wanna change your mind or not? You wanna become to something better? So basically I cannot do anything, but together we can change literally everything and you start from a really small things from your thoughts and so you try to control it try to change it and everything will be changed what's inside is outside 